Hi there, this is Mike Cattell from Mo, the Sales Engineer here at eBird Software. Today I want to show you a quick and easy way to use Microsoft Excel to populate the data lookup tables in eBridge. Now you'll need to do this anytime there's a discrepancy between the part numbers on your e-commerce site and the part numbers in your ERP or accounting system. Let's head over to the data lookups area and we're going to click on the items option. You can double click on an individual item and manually edit the external ID which is what you might be doing today, but I want to show you how to use Excel to make this a little bit more efficient. Let's go ahead and export this table to Excel. Click the fifth icon from the left and select Export to Excel. Save the file somewhere you can find it, such as your desktop, and go ahead and open it. Column C contains our external ID, which is the field we're interested in updating. Now let's flip over to the Excel spreadsheet that contains the export from our web store. Column B contains the part numbers that we want to populate into the external ID field in the Excel spreadsheet that we exported from eBridge. We're going to use a formula in Excel called VLOOKUP. You can use whatever field you like to do the matching, but it has to be identical in both spreadsheets. The VLOOKUP formula uses four parameters. The first one is the lookup value. For the second parameter called table array, we need to select the range of data from the web store export that contains both the lookup value as well as the resulting data value we want to put into the external ID field. The third parameter requires us to enter the column number of the value we're interested in. In this case it's column B, but we need to enter the number 2. For the fourth and final parameter we want to enter the word false which makes sure that only values are returned if there's an exact match. Lastly, we want to copy the formula entered in field C2 all the way down for every row in the spreadsheet. That's it. Your external ID should now contain all of the data values from column B of your web store export spreadsheet, but let's go ahead and spot check the camera case, which is item number 35. And there we have it. There are a few things to note or a few tricks that you need to be aware of when using the VLOOKUP. The first is that in between each parameter you need to enter a comma. Secondly, you need to make sure that the fields you're using to match on, in this case column A from the web store export and column B from the eBridge export, need to have the same data type in Excel. To make them the same, select the entire column, right click and select Format Cells, and on the Number tab select Text and OK. Make sure you do this in both spreadsheets. The third thing you need to be aware of is that you need to make sure that the value you're looking up in your web store export spreadsheet is to the left of the value that you want to return. In this case, the product name, which is the field we're doing the matching on, needs to be to the left of the resulting value, which is in column B. Lastly, you need to make sure that your formula in the VLOOKUP contains absolute cell references. This means that you need a dollar sign in front of the letter A and the number 2 for your starting cell range and in front of the letter B and in front of the number 81 for your ending cell range. If you don't have absolute references specified, you may have problems when you try copying that cell formula down for all the rows. That's it. I hope you found this video useful and you can now use this powerful feature of Excel to help populate your data lookup tables quickly and easily. Remember you can use this for any Excel spreadsheet and you can apply this to the customer cross-reference tables as well as the ship address cross-reference tables.